Hey everyone, welcome back or welcome if you're new. My name is Tanya with Mind, Body and Soul Company and I make aromatherapy, bath and beauty products. So for today, a week's project, we're doing a cold process soap. So I have my oils melted down here and some kaolin clay. This is a palm free recipe that I use and I'll leave it down in the description box in case anyone wants to try it out. And then I have my lye water with a sodium lactate in it. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that poured in. If you do like what you see today, I hope you'll stick around and subscribe and become part of my YouTube family. There we go. I'm gonna go ahead, tap out any air bubbles, and then give this a quick blend. Good there. All right, so I'm going to pour off some batter for my two accent colors. Be good there. Okay. And then I'm gonna go ahead and get my fragrance oil in. This is Tranquility from Brambleberry. It has notes of bergamot, lavender, orange blossom, honey and fennel, some lemon, green tea, and musk. And then I did add in, because I didn't have quite enough fragrance oil, I did add in some uh, lavender as well, lavender essential oil. Maybe that looks good there. Now to my main bucket here, I've got some titanium dioxide. And I'm uh, this is from Mad Micah's, and I've just dispersed that in some distilled water. So I'm going to go ahead and get that poured in. And then give it a whisk before I blend it. All right, that's looking good there. And then before I pour this into my mold, I'm going to do a mica drop into it. And this is Shimmering Gold from Nurture. So I'm just going to pour that in, drizzle a little around the top. All right. And then let me get my mold up here. We're gonna go ahead and pour this in. Okay, that looks really nice there. We'll tap down and I'm going to set that off to the side. Oh, that is super fluid. <laughs> and then I have my two containers here for my other accent colors. I have poured the fragrance in already. 
So in this one, I'm adding in Blue Tide from Mad Micah's. It's a really pretty kind of oceany blue. And then in this one, I am doing Mint Julep from Mad Micah's. Give those a quick whisk. Love that blue. It's really pretty. And we'll get the green. Green might need a little more in it. And these micas were just dispersed in some of my soap batter. Okay, that's a better green. I ended up adding in some green vibrance from Nurture. So I think these look good now. So I'm gonna go ahead and get them poured in my mold. Oh, and throw some soap batter. Before I pour this in, I'm gonna just texture the top a little bit. Last minute decision to do a drop swirl of my, or in the pot swirl of my accent colors. There we go. All right, so now I'm gonna get this poured in and if any breaks through that is not a big deal that's looking good i love this the blue and the green together that's really pretty and then i'm just going to give that a little shake and then tap it down and then I'm just gonna get all of my containers scraped out here. Okay, and now that I have those scraped out, I'm just gonna drizzle the last little bits of this shimmering gold from Nurture. have my skewer here so I'm just gonna do some swirls here on the top that's looking really pretty there give it a quick spray with some rubbing alcohol And then as a final little topper, I have some Gold Hollow from Nurture, and I'm just gonna sprinkle that over the top just a little bit. And 
future I will be finding glitter for days. <laughs> that is what usually happens. All right. So I'm just gonna get the sides cleaned up here and then I'll bring in for a close up. So I'll let this set up for 24 to 48 hours and then we'll be back to cut. All right, and we are back to cut Tranquility. So super happy with how this one turned out. We got the nice white bottom with the blue and green swirl on the top and that little bit of gold mica running throughout. It still smells real nice and refreshing, kind of a soothing scent. You can pick up the lavender and a little bit of that musk as well as the orange blossom. Definitely a nice bar. Now we've been getting a nice little taste of fall here the last few days. It's been a lot cooler. Um, this morning when I got up, it was only 59. I wore a little jacket when I took Luna out, so it was super nice not to be drenched in sweat by the time we got back. It definitely won't last. I think we're back up in the 90s again this weekend, but it started giving me all those nice fall vibes. That fall is probably my favorite time of year. What's not to love about it? All the different colored leaves and hot chocolate and cozy clothes. Definitely a fan of fall. I'm going to be starting to make my fall soups here within the next week or so. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up and I will catch you in my next one. Thank you.